Okay, in this tutorial we'll continue with the game engine. I'm back in this particular file where this object was tracking this object, so I'll just give you a little reminder. There it is moving around like this. But this, this was tracking based on, if going to the logic bricks here, we'll see that it's based on an always sensor. So it's always looking, that cube is always looking, it's always seeking that purple cube was what it was doing. That was looking there but instead of always doing it let's do this some let's do it somehow else so it doesn't do it always but let's do it when after say a certain amount of time occurs so there's a timer we can add to the game engine here and so I'll just get rid of the always sensor like this and over in here where we did properties before which were like our variables instead I'm just gonna say I'll put a clock in here so of course the clocks that I've been showing you in my videos are, are Python coded but for a particular different reason but this is still a very powerful feature built into the logic bricks so you might as well take advantage of it so what I have is this property called clock but instead of it being a variable like this let me see if I can zoom this up let's scale that up. there you go like this so instead of it being a variable being one of these booleans floats down here there happens to be a timer as well so we're going to take advantage of this timer okay and the timer is just going to start counting time and so what I want to do is now in here I'm going to add one of these property sensors that we did before in the previous lesson I'm going to go pick that clock up and I'm going to give it a value but instead of being equal to a particular value I'm going to give it an interval because the clock when it starts going it's going to have a uh, well in fact let's see if we can do this here easily right here you see this button here that prints debug information so let's see if I can quickly show you here this I'm running it here if I run this let me see. No, that's not going to work yet. All right, hang on. Let's do it differently. Um, let me put the time value. I want to time it between, mm, I'll just say equal to 10. Okay, and then I'm going to do something when it equals 10. Hang on. Yeah, I'll start seeking. I'll start seeking when it equals 10. All right, so let's run this. So. I'll run it. I'm moving it around. See, it's not going anywhere yet. Now, when it gets up to 10 seconds, well, nothing's happening because therein lies the problem is this, this thing is not showing, it's not ever exactly equal to 10 because this timer is a floating point number. So I need to make it something that's a little bit different. I'm going to make it an interval like this and I'm going to say when it gets between, I don't know, say seven and eight seconds like this then I'm saying when it gets between seven and eight seconds then start tracking okay so then I want to zoom up in here like this and I'll start moving it around yikes all right I'll start moving it around and then about seven or seconds so I'm moving it around it's not tracking yet I'll just keep moving it and there it goes. Now it's starting to track it. But it only did it between that interval and seven and eight seconds, right? So just for about that, that thing, so let's do it between, say, five and 25 seconds, like this. So now there's going to be a small delay as well. Five second delay before it starts tracking it. It's kind of like playing hide and go seek. And there it is. Now it's chasing it down after that time. And after 25 seconds, comes along it'll stop chasing it let me see how far along well, I should have put it a little bit shorter but 20 seconds won't take that long I assure you let's see if it actually stops oh of course it will because let's see I'm evading it there it is there it stopped all right so that's uh, pretty basic so really the it's just nothing more than using this timer property in here and giving it a name and then connecting it just like you do otherwise Okay, well, I hope that helps you with your projects, and I'll see you in the next lesson.